Hey what's going on folks, my name is Grey, this is Video Holocaust and today I review a martial arts film that's very important for a number of different reasons. First of all it made a star of its fresh faced young lead and it would also go on to inspire a whole new genre of martial arts action cinema with the Ring Fighter. I am of course talking about the 1988 smash hit Bloodsport. Blood Sport tells the supposedly true story of a Mr. Frank Dukes, who claims to have competed in a fighting tournament called the Kumite, where he won everything and was hailed as the greatest martial artist to have ever walked the earth. Unfortunately, it was quickly discovered that Mr. Dukes was lying out of his arse. Thankfully though, his rabid fantasies were used as the basis for what turned out to be a very successful and inspirational movie. He may be known today for flogging beer, but back in the late 1980s, Jean-Claude Van Damme was considered the heir apparent to the action movie throne, who was cast in his film after trying out for the role of the Predator. However, fortune smiled on Mr. Van Varenberg as this movie would turn out to be his breakout role. But every hero needs a villain to get the best out of them, and again, Bloodsport delivers in the barrel-chested shape of Bolo Jung, whose own career had taken a dive since the heady days of Enter the Dragon and Chinese Hercules. Van Damme plays Frank Dukes, who is trained in the arts of ninjutsu by his next-door neighbour, and enters the Kumite, a no-holds-barred mixed martial arts tournament open to all comers in order to honour his sensei. He also manages to find the time to befriend a strategically shaved yeti and a love interest, all the while evading his employers, the US military. I swear, this Frank Dukes is a bigger fantasist than Steven Seagal and his nutty CIA claims. Oh, this is a good bit. This bit's good. Victory. You know, the original Mortal Kombat game was supposed to star digitised Van Damme and chums, saving the world from evil. Somewhat ironic then that he'd go on to play Guile in the travesty that was the Street Fighter movie. But I'm sure after the debacles that were Super Mario Bros, Street Fighter, Tekken, Dragon Ball, Last Airbender, that Hollywood has learnt its lessons and there's no way they could fuck up the recently announced live action Mega Man. <laughs> could they? <laughs> oh, oh god, oh let me watch some heads get kicked in. That always cures what ails me. And once the obligatory fighting montages with music provided by Stan Bush of Transformers and Rocky IV fame are out of the way, we come to the most important part of any martial art movie, the end fight scene, where Van Damme would demonstrate the techniques he would use in every other film he would appear in, for the very first time. And before I wrap up this review, I think it's worth pointing out that there's a proposed remake in the pipeline, and while it looks like it's going to be Bloodsport in name only, rumours persist that Van Damme has signed on to play the master who teaches the hero. Interesting. I'll keep you posted on this one. So Frank Dukes would vanquish his enemy, honour his sensei and get the girl. Honestly, it's like a 13 year old's fan fiction. Even the end credits list is fictitious achievements. Well folks, this has been my review of the incredibly cheesy but entertaining as all hell martial arts adventure, Bloodsport. And if you're a fan of Van Damme and or Bolo Jung, then stay tuned because I will have reviews of many more of their movies coming soon. So my name's Grey, this has been Video Holocaust. All that's left me to do is say thanks for watching and I'll have more videos up soon. Laters.